Hey, good nearly afternoon, guys. It's about 20 minutes till 12 here in Ohio, and I have got an absolute gem of a video for you. And I'm down here because I've got my whiteboard right here, and I'm going to go through a lot of information which pertains to the pandemic that we've all dealt with for the past three years. This is hot, hot information that I have just uncovered you're going to want to know this so before this video starts please hit a like button subscribe to my channel and be looking out for my videos because you're not going to, want to miss the videos that i've got coming up uh they're going to be absolute gems so without further ado we're going to talk about uh, a little bit of the ins and outs of how this whole three years kind of come about in another avenue in that and i'm going to keep it at that so okay what we're going to start out with switch health okay switch health was responsible for all the covid tests for the airline industry the company was started in 2018 okay you're going to want to remember that that date 2018 okay they had a huge collaboration between the private industry and the government airline industry the company was set up by investors that were in direct communication with the WEF this was planned. Um, most of this can be researched, but some of it, the links have been severed, so you'll get a 404 on that. But this clearly demonstrates that this was, this whole pandemic was a collusion, was a, was a, um, a setup deal, I believe. And this web... It's going to expand out, and I'm going to explain a little bit more to you, okay? This Switch Health had two key investors, okay, and the government together. So it was a together entity with the government and key private investors, okay? One of those investors was Jordan Paquette. He worked directly with the Office of Ministry of Health in Canada and worked directly under and with the Canadian Prime Minister. He also specifically had orders and directives and coordination with the Office of the WEF. Now, I've talked about the WEF before. That is the World Economic Forum. Okay? Now, these testing, these testing strips, they had plans to start, do startup on these testing strips in 2018. Okay? How did they know that there was going to be a pandemic that swept through the whole world. And how did they ramp up all these testing strips and get the key places or the key uh, pieces in place to make the strips in 2018 if this thing just snuck up on us? Okay? Just think about that. You had one more key investor. And this guy... His name is Mr. Calvin Brevinescu, President and CEO of Air Canada. Okay? So, he's an investor of Switch Health. They're making pennies on every test, testing strip they make for Switch Health. He makes so much money that in 2020, he just 
magically retires. Okay? That's good uh, timing that he jumped ship in 2020 because we all know what happened in 2020. So, good timing, Mr. Rescue. Okay? And this Calvin Robinescu was strategic advisor of Switch Health on top of him being the president and CEO of Air Canada. Okay, now why would Air Canada invest in Switch Health when they're two different, you know, entities, two different lines of business? Well, ask yourself, that's the perfect marriage, your test trip with the airline. Okay, and and there has been uh, credible evidence that these test trips, not only were they in the airline industry, they had trickled down into the private sector as well. So this not only goes here, it goes there, and it keeps going and going. So this shows direct collusion, that they knew something was up right here. Okay, this can all be researched up to a point, and then you get the... 404 message on the broken links. Okay, and like I said, now all the links have been scrubbed from the internet with a 404 message. Okay, now with this Switch Health, the CEO of Switch Health in 2020 was a lady named. Anita Polivir. And that is Pierre Polivir's wife. And she was Forbes person responsible for bringing COVID-19 tests in North America. And also was a member of Parliament. Isn't that nice that our government just works for us and knows all these things? And she was a conservative member. So not only do you have the liberals push this agenda, you have the conservatives. So they are all wolves in sheep's clothing. Paul Pierre is a very, very connected person in Canada. Okay? Like I said, she was see a switch health in 2020 and she was in direct line with all these people she coordinated all this and the main story is they made a ton of money on something that they knew was probably going to be planned like the video that I put out before a couple videos ago the uh, this whole uh, virus that got loose was from a Wuhan lab that studied coronavirus for gain, gain of function. So if you put all these pieces together here, there's a picture that comes clear that this thing was probably a coordinated event. This thing was going to be let out into the public and that this was, they knew the damage that all of this was going to cause. And by doing the testing and all of this, they were failed attempts to mitigate the, uh, the look of the whole situation that they were trying to help us. Oh, we're getting test strips. We're doing everything we can to help the public. That's all just very small mitigation. And that's to make themselves look good. Okay, right now, even in Canada, they still push the death jab that you can't still go places without that stupid jab. And we all know now that this, this was all collusion, that it does hurt people, that in most cases, stillbirth is not only possible, but probable in women that's pregnant. 
this is just another key. He, these are all part and par parcel practices for the WEF, the World Economic Forum, the powers that be, to try to dwindle down the numbers. Okay, we've got uh, Bill Gates on record stating that with a good about amount of good amount of help and vaccines that they can get the world population down 10 to 15 percent we have it on record video and coming out of his mouth that he said that so put all of this information together and there's no denying it so Let's go through this one more time. Switch Health, the leader of the COVID test, started in 2018. We didn't get the pandemic until 20, late 19, early 20. A year, year and a half ahead of time. Key investors here, they knew they were going to make a ton of money out this because they knew what was coming down the pipe. We even have the CEO of Air Canada, and then we have the Jordan Paquette that worked directly with the Prime Minister, Little Castro, I call him. And all these people that we're talking about are people that live a different life than me and you. They are the privileged people. These are the people that will step on our dead bones because they feel that they should inherit the earth and not us little peons. These are the people I'm talking about here. These are not your regular people. These are the movers and shakers. And these are the people that want all the spoils of the world for themselves. So guys, that's about all my video for today.